The Pioneer team has theorized many times in all of the reports it has published so far. Among our latest theories was that the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Crimean Peninsula would increase even more. Once again, we are right. Troops of the Ukrainian armed forces have recently landed on the Crimean Peninsula again. We had stated that the Russian army was frightened by this situation and took measures on the eastern coast of the Crimean Peninsula. However, it seems that these measures are not working. The Crimean Peninsula, the fortified positions in the Black Sea, continues to be one of the focal points of the war between Russia and Ukraine. The Ukrainian army, which is determined to end the occupation that started in 2014 on the peninsula, is both targeting Russian positions in the region with artillery units and landing on the peninsula, causing a great panic in the Russian army. So what happened in the latest operation organized by the Ukrainian army on the Crimean Peninsula? Let's take a look at the developments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss the daily map reports and the agenda reports prepared by the Pioneer team. You can also comment on our content in the comment sections. Let's start if you're ready to Pioneer reports. Recently in the morning hours of local time, a very remarkable report found on wide coverage in both local and international media. Personnel of the main intelligence directorate of the armed forces of Ukraine had traveled back to the Crimean Peninsula, which they had left eight years ago. However, this visit to the Crimean Peninsula was not an easy one because the personnel of the main intelligence directorate of the armed forces of Ukraine had crossed the choppy waters of the Black Sea and visited the Crimean Peninsula, taking into account the possibility of the Russian army killing them. As you may recall, we encountered a similar incident in recent months when the Ukrainian army landed on the Crimean Peninsula from the east of the day of the Ukraine's national independence and raised the Ukrainian flag on the Crimean Peninsula on the Independence Day. In the past days, the Ukrainian army organized a very critical operation and landed on the Crimean Peninsula again. The personnel of the Ukrainian main intelligence directorate, which took action and late night, approached the Crimean Peninsula with assault boats. The Russian defense forces in the area did not notice the raw wall of the Ukrainians. In fact, this situation shows us that the Russian defense forces are not sufficient. Moreover, in this morning, there were explosions in Sevastopol and Sinfropol on the Crimean Peninsula. Ukrainian artillery units had targeted these two cities. However, the units of the Russian armed forces ignored this attack and did not take the necessary measures. These attacks were the harbinger of the landing operation to be carried out at night. The first statements regarding the attack came from the Ukrainian armed forces. In the statements made by the Ukraine, it was announced that this attack took place at night and two units of soldiers took part in the attack. According to the information obtained from local sources, the operation in question was carried out on Wednesday night. So far, Russian sources have not made any statements about the attack. Representative of the Ukrainian main intelligence service, Andrei Yusuf, made quite remarkable statements about the operation in question. As you know, Ukraine's attacks on the Crimean Peninsula are actually carried out by intelligence personnel. Therefore, we can say that Yusuf is the person who has the most information about this operation. According to Yusuf's statements, Ukrainian troops also suffered some losses during this operation. However, the losses of the Russian troops were considerably higher than the losses of the Ukrainian troops. Yusuf's statements in question are as follows. There was a clash with the Russian invaders. Several people were killed and wounded among the invaders' personnel. Unfortunately, there are also some casualties among the Ukrainian defenders, but it's still not as many as among the Russians. There are many reports about this operation. However, so far we consider the most accurate information to be official sources. Ukrainian sources announced that the operation and gave a general outline. Russian official sources have not made any statements so far. We have witnessed this many times before when the Russian official sources remain silent, see so allegations about the incident are usually true. Let's evaluate these claims shared by local sources in the region on social media. To briefly summarize the reports of local sources, we can use the following statements. The Stubna and Bratstovto Special Operation Units, which are part of the Special Unit of the Main Intelligence Directorate of Ukraine, headed by Timur, landed on the territory of the Crimean Peninsula and opened fire on Moscow occupiers. Crimea will become Ukraine. Victory to Ukraine. The person referred to here as the Timur 
is probably a Ukrainian intelligence officer with the code name. We have already seen this name during the previous landing in the Crimean Peninsula. The Ukrainian intelligence officer with the code name Timur also appeared several times earlier in the war, including during the liberation of the Snakes Island. The landing of the Ukrainian army on the Crimean Peninsula caused great fear and panic on the Russian side. As you will remember, after the attack in the past month, Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky made the following statements. The Crimean Peninsula belongs to Ukraine. We will ensure our territory integrity by liberating the Crimean Peninsula. In a very short time, our yellow-blue flag will fly over the free Crimean Peninsula. Russian occupiers will not be able to prevent this. In addition, Vladimir Zelensky announced that the Ukrainian citizens in this region after the attacks in August to leave the Crimean Peninsula before a large-scale operation. He had also called on Russian citizens who were resettled in the region as part of the Russian occupation policy to return home. The Crimean Peninsula is mobilizing day by day. The pressure of the Ukrainian army on the peninsula through the Black Sea is increasing day by day. Each new day means a new threat for the Russian Defense Forces stations on the Crimean Peninsula. The Ukrainian army will increase the doses of the threat in these coming days. The Russian army leadership, on the other hand, pretends not to take this threat seriously. They have done so much before. However, this caused the Russian administration dearly. As you may recall, the Ukrainian army recently attacked the naval bases located off the coast of the Sevastopol harbor of the Crimean Peninsula. During these attacks, a submarine belonging to the Russian Navy was destroyed and Russia's Black Sea fleet was badly damaged. Later, it was announced by Ukrainian sources that the commander of the Black Sea fleet, Admiral Viktor Sokolov, was killed. According to the latest reports, the Russian administration took action to avoid further losses in the region. According to the allegations, the Black Sea Fleet, one of the important units of the Russian Navy, left the eastern coast of the Crimean Peninsula and anchored in the Russian territorial waters in order to avoid further losses. However, this information should be considered unconfirmed. What do you think? Do you think the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Crimean Peninsula are effective? Do you expect these attacks to continue? Do you think the Russian Black Sea Fleet has left the Crimean Peninsula? Let me know in the comments. I read and I care about all your comments.